Good. So welcome to the Boxing Media Hub. You're joining me and Ender. We are going for Philip Hergovic versus Dempsey McKean. Um, we got a thumbs up already. So thank you very much for the Peaky Blinder. Um, so yeah, we're going straight in. Round one. Um, Hergovic, white shorts with the Croatian check down the sides with a red waistband. And then we've got McKean in um, some very nice blue shorts with a black trim with McKean written on the back. That's funny, that. Um, yeah. uh, Philip Hergovic, 15 fights, 15 wins, 12 knockouts with a bit of a hmm on his record. And Dempsey McKean, 22 fights, 22 wins, 14 knockouts. Hergovic was asked out against Zhang in August last year, which he won unanimous decision, which was the, yeah. And McKean was asked out October against uh, Corte or Corti or Court. Um, and he won on KO round three. So, yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, both... This is the one our friend Scottish Adam predicted uh, an upset for McKean, so just putting that out there. But whether he does or he doesn't, uh, you know. Well, like we say, awkward southpaw. Um, yeah. But Hergovic has been in with all sorts of people. Very tough, resilient guy. We don't know too much about McKean. So if you do know stuff about him, let us know in the comments. Um, but, yeah, interesting one, this one. Um Hergovic is very much, he shuts off from everything else that's going on and just sort of focuses on the guy in front of him. Um, McKean, bit of a sort of flash and a jab out, but nothing too too major there. Both sort of just measuring each other at the moment. Yeah, and as well, it's always awkward when you've got the Southpaw versus Orthodox. The first round is a largely a measuring out round. <coughs> there, though, by Hergovic. And not landing sort of too clean, but Hergovic being in with the sort of tougher opponents, I, I'd definitely, say. definitely, he would have the the stronger resume there. Good right hand there by Hergovic, but uh, yeah. McKean sticking behind the jab at the moment. Yeah. Can you? Uh, and what, what's your prediction on this one? Do Do you see it going? The I, I expect Hergovic to win, to be fair. But, yeah. That's you know, the expectation, isn't it? How long it goes, I don't know. At heavyweight, it's always a hard prediction. Um, like, because the knockout can change. A big punch can change anything. And uh, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Um, but, I mean, like everyone says, I mean, you've got four heavyweight fights. There has to be there the, the likelihood of there being an upset in one of them is high. So is this the one, you know? I mean, some people are saying, you know, Chisora, you know, but his opponent, Washington, isn't, you know, that's super either. So Father Time though, Ender. Father Time. But, we but, we but say that, this, don't we? Yeah, but I, I kind of wonder why he's why Chizora, why I suppose he, he's most likely to get uh, chief support, but it's 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 a strange old card, you know. Yeah, yeah. What what do you reckon for round round one there then, end up is? Well, I might give it to Hergovic just on. I think he landed more punches, but uh, there wasn't much in it at all, you know. Yeah, um, and just to say as well, um, Hergovic has got the main man in his corner, Jumbo. So Very good old well. Ian Jumbo Johnson in the corner. Big shout out to mm. him, guy who's been dedicated as a cut man to the sport for years mm. and years. Multiple fighters. I think he's Katie Taylor's um, cut man as well. Incredible guy. Um, mm. Brilliant at his job. Um, had an interview with him. Check it out. Really, really nice guy. But yeah, back into round two here. Hergovic. Starting to let his hands go a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit busier in the second round already. So that's that's something a good. good. Sign. 
McKean McKean threw a one two that kind of landed very short of the target, but uh Yeah, it's as I say it's very much who wants to take the first move, who wants to take that step out, as it were, to try and um push the fight and, and no one wants to sort of take the risk at the moment. Mm. Um, Hergovic is trying to to throw more shots, but McKean is kind of doing enough to to keep Hergovic away, really at bay at the yeah. moment. Yeah, and it is the awkward southpaw versus orthodox stance yeah. that oh, but it it looked like Hergovic landed nicely to the chest of McKean there, and now he pushes him back with just a basic one too. Yeah, good good little flurry by McKean there, just to try and stop any attack, I think, as it were. Mm -hmm. But both centre of the ring at the moment. McKean just flicking the jab out. Good shot mm -hmm. to the body. Did look a little bit low, but Hergovic with a right hand. Oh, that's a, that's a nice left hook from Hergovic. Hergovic. Good left and right. And McKean coming back with the jabs. And, and Hergovic then comes forward with the jabs that seem more effective. So that, that would that be have been a shot, Sonny, at the moment. Yeah, and McKean, Keane immediately clinched. So that, that shot definitely landed that straight from, from Hergovic. Definitely sort of 30 seconds to go. Hergovic definitely in control this second round. Um, yeah, very much so. Comes out, but... Landed and, some great shots in his round. And McKean desperate to hold on as well. So, Because Hergovic has kind of put his number one spot on the line, hasn't he, in this one? Yeah. Um, he's kind of the next guy in line as, as such. Yeah. Oh, and that's a great one-two to the head by Hergovic. Yeah. I, Very I, I, yeah. I think Hergovic could be looking for an early stoppage in this one. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely working well. Mm. Um so, yeah, definitely a Hergovic round. Oh, Hergovic was clear in round two. Like, the first round was quiet, but the second round was all Hergovic for me anyway. Well, I'm sure for you as well. But, I mean, like, all McLean seemed to want to do there was hold. And, and, and Jack. Of, but not, it was a bit early for all that holding, you know. But anyway. There doesn't seem to be much else coming, does there? It, it, it doesn't. He it, it, it seems to flick the jab out and then... The jab doesn't really do a lot, so he kind of backs up a yeah. little bit. And, and we're and we're seeing we're bit. seeing Hergovic there with his wonderful right hand. Yeah, great shot. And then the left, and then the left well. hook was just, yeah. you Fantastic. know. But definitely another uh, good one too. There, he's, he's definitely landing those shots at the moment. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Hergovic very much in control. Um. We need to see more from McKean if if he. We wants really do, and already McKean is, you know, back to, old and back, back to holding, you know. So her, Hergovic, but actually Keane there had a nice uh, couple of shots just leaving the clinch. So that was good for McKean. And, and a not uh, and, and a Hergovic nice Wasserman fighter as well, isn't he? So yeah, a nice back right hand there from um, Hergovic. Yeah, McKean's not shown us anything yet that suggests that he's another he's... another another good right hand from Hergovic and McLean goes in for the clinch again. Yeah, there's the stats now that came up. For yeah, so sixty-two round. thrown, thirty-one landed. Uh, McKean thirty-seven, only landing twelve. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's and there's it, that's it really, to be honest. Yeah. Hergovic just working really well here at the moment. Yeah, and a, a nice hook in the clinch there from Hergovic as well. So uh, <laughs> the clinch might, mightn't be so friendly for Dempsey anymore. So McLean, well, I don't know why you call him Dempsey. He, he, he's he's um, getting the better of everything, really, to yeah. be perfectly honest. Yeah, I, I, I can see there's a bit of a golfing class here. You know, I think it's evident. You know, Hergovic is definitely the more, you know, 
well, I suppose he has been inward word, you know. More dominant though, isn't he? He's, yeah. a, he's, a, he's a dominant fighter. He he takes the fight. He he p- dictates the pace. He yeah. he he pushes the fight how he wants to. Good little uppercut there by McKean, but nothing, no, <laughs> not much power behind it. Um, mm. But definitely loves a good old one-two. Does Hergovic? Yeah, landed a good amount. And, as and again, way, and again, there. as McLean tries to wrap him up in a clinch, he is still hooking, you know, and hurting McLean to, to kind of just. And, yeah, and the referee warned the, the referee warns Hergovic from hitting the back of the head, but I think that's not really fair because it was McLean that kind of. And he couldn't really do anything. He, he, yeah. It, it tied up. Well, actually, no, there, there it did seem to a bit of a swipe at the back of the head. But anyway. Um, McKean there it, it tried throwing a couple, but nothing. As I say, there's, there's no. There's nothing particularly behind them at the moment that's, that's looking like it's going to cause any issue. No. Hergovic, when he comes forward, it looks like he's. He's going yeah, to cause a problem. Absolutely. And I think that's another dominant round for Hergovic. Yeah, uh, McLean throws a few punches, but they don't seem to have the weight and veracity of Hergovic's punches. So that's three zip to Hergovic for us. Let yeah. us know how you've got it in the comments. Yeah, let us know at home. Um, if you're joining us for the first time, hit the subscribe button and check out the rest of the content. When we're not doing live watch alongs, we're doing Hergovic versus McKean at the moment. Next, we're going to do Chisora versus Washington. And then followed by the main event, we've got Joshua versus Hellenius. So stick with us. We'll do them as individual videos so you can jump onto the fights that you want to listen to. Um, But, yeah, let us know. As I say, at the moment, we've got the first three rounds to Hergovic. And McKean isn't really up to a lot. No, no, not, not not for either of us. He definitely needs to wake up because these rounds will just drift away. Um, and to be fair, I think Hergovic could just quite happily trot along, picking the points, and he'll just take that. Um, I, would he prefer a stoppage? I think he would. But mm. um, I think if McKean's not really going to cause him any issues and he's just going to stand off him, it just pick him to bits because he's got the, the ability to do it. Yeah, but I, I presume Hergovic, w- w- you know, will turn the screw if and when he he wants to in the later rounds, you know. If yeah. McKean doesn't bring anything new to the yeah. table, which I don't see him doing, he's just throwing out the jab there. Uh, we haven't but seen again, really much else, have we, Ender? To yeah, and, and they're not even like... Did, that seemed a little low by uh, McKean, but anyway... It, it was followed quickly by a straight left by Hergovic. So. Yeah, that's a nice backhand by Hergovic. And then McKean, in fairness, comes with the one-two again. But again, there didn't seem good to right be... Hook, any... I'll give him that. It was a good yeah. right hook, but it d- didn't do really a lot. Yeah, exactly. Uh, McKean's pun- punches don't seem to have the power of Hergovic's. But actually, that punch did, but it, it didn't land on the target. Uh he did follow up though with with a good left, straight left to the n- nose of Hergovic, and now Hergovic has Keane in the corner, and Keane is holding. Some body shots going in now, and Keane, Keane, Keane is desperate to, you know, just hold, and he's not he's doing what he does. I think is yeah. the. Yeah, Hergovic now is trying to jab, but he, his punches don't seem to land, and Hergovic immediately throws a one-two, the first of which lands, the second of which doesn't. Oh, but that's a lovely uh, back right hand from Hergovic. Yeah, it McKean got jabbed through the middle there, but as I say, it's just sort of just slides off Hergovic. Yeah, he? he's he's got he's got and Hergovic, and her, and again Keane is down and. Swing out of the, the 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 kind of the trunk of Hergovic, so the referee seemed to be giving out to Hergovic though for some reason. 
I think it was only because he sort of walked away with his mm. back, didn't he? And and the ref just wanted to make sure he was in the right direction. Yeah, but McLean's uh, really clinching this whole fight. Yes. Yeah, Which is fine. I mean, if he wants to survive and that's what he wants to do, but it's it's uh yeah, that's only... a guy though that's got a record of twenty two fights, twenty two wins, that it'd be a bit more and I and I totally get it, the resume, don't get me wrong. But he's got fourteen knockouts on there, so clearly there is a bit of, of power there. Well, it depends where, where those knockouts were against. I mean, Hergovic is, is you know, as we said, he's he's a world-class fighter. He's been fighting at the elite level. He did beat Jiang, albeit on a controversial points decision. And he fights anywhere, doesn't he? Oh, this yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm giving that round to Hergovic again. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no... Um... Mm. I could almost copy and paste it, really, to be perfectly honest, because this is just kind of how it's running at the moment. There's yeah, no... so if there's anyone watching along there, let us know what you think of the fight so far. Do you have a different to us? Are you seeing yeah, well, something? What, what was your prediction before the fight? What? Yeah. How are you How are you seeing it now? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's how me and Ender imagined, really, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, yeah but I mean, even... Unless but McKinney it, is holding on to this this plan that Hergovic is gonna is, is gonna run out, yeah, and he's, and he's gonna you know need to take that breather at some point, and he's gonna take the opportunity. But I just can't see it. I neither neither can I, and because yeah. like you think, oh yeah, well, well, Hergovic, if it only takes one punch, but Hergovic's punches hasn't seemed that strong, and. Sorry, McKean's punches haven't seen that strong. And Hergovic has been in with Jiang. And, okay, he won the fight. But he lasted 12 rounds with Jiang, who hits a lot harder than McKean. So yeah. it'll be interesting to see what way McKean has, what is McKean's strategy from here, apart from holding. But yeah. uh, there, he's, he's, he's throwing a one-two there. I don't know if they got through the gloves, to be honest, but... I think I think one went through the right, the left hand went yeah. through. But I think other than that, this is all he's doing. He's almost trying to pick shots at a guy that's just stood there with his guard up. It, yeah, but but you know, just based on this, it's been a better round for McKean so far. So now I say that Hergovic is going to absolutely pummel him for the rest of the round, but, yeah, uh, which which he does, me. and he lands in with a big body shot, and then he goes with the overhand right. And again, Keen goes. McKean goes back to the old habit of clinching. Now, not that I'm criticising him, because I know if I was in there, I'd be holding on for dear life. And another nice uppercut to the body from Hergovic. So, like I said, as soon as I had a word though, because it's getting to the point where it, every time he's yeah, he but... grabbing the arm and and. Sort of pulling in tight, isn't he? Where, yeah. where Hergovic is trying to get the fight but, going. But I mean, like if if he breaks when they say break, then there's not more much more yeah. he can do. You know, it's not like he's holding over the time he should be. But then he is holding on, holding on to the ropes there, which you could do him for, but that'd be very petty. Um, so King comes back. McKean comes. Oh, what a cracking right hand oh, yeah. from Hergovic uh, there. And unsurprisingly, McKean goes back into the clinch. To be fair, I don't blame him on that one. I'm Absolutely not. not. That was a that cracking, was a cracking, cracking that shot. Was a, that was a great shot from Hergovic. I think the ref's finally having a word. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let us know how you're seeing this one at home. Um, let us know in the comments, but Hergovic is doing what Hergovic does, and absolutely it's, uh, round five to Hergovic. Yeah. And uh, he actually, in my opinion, uh, McKean did really well to stay on his feet after that shot. That was a that was a cracking clean shot. Um, he did, he round did. five to Hergovic, and every round since. So let us know in the comments if you're watching it. If you're watching it for the first time, hit the subscribe button. Um, but do you know what, Ender? I think we're just going to have a little bit of this. Have a little bit of that.
Hi, I'm Beck Connolly. You're watching Boxing Media Hub. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, Beck. <laughs> Beck's a great one. Beck's great at promoting the channel, I have to say. Oh, she's a star. But, um, yeah, round six. More of the same? I'd imagine so. Um, uh, unless Hergovic lands clean again. Um, mm. But to be fair, Dempsey took that shot really well. But he really lie. did now, and I don't blame him for clinching after that big punch. But yeah. he clinches so often that it's kind of like the boys. Every punch. <laughs> yeah. Um, Arsenal since 1987. Thank you very much for joining us. Big up. Where does AJ go from here? If he doesn't win tonight, I doubt that AJ will lose, but he should retire if it happens. I don't think he would retire. Um, well, it would be it would be a long way back to the top. It'd be if devastating. Not, yeah. 100%. Because, I mean, in fairness... He, this opponent was picked so he wouldn't lose. No, you know, I, I think of the available and opponents, you know, they picked a, a kind of an easier one for him. But, Hellenius four last week. Yeah. But so it, it, he, if, if anyone's going to be fresh and ready, because to be fair, he did go in against a guy that was, what, four and oh, six and oh, yeah. something like that, who was kind of a guy on the up, which to me doesn't sound a very fair fight anyway against no. a guy like. Hellenius that has been around and 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 has been in big fights, um, but, but I would say that Fisher, sorry, Joshua needs a statement victory tonight. He it, really needs to me, get him out get it within three. But we'll, well be, within we'll six, I think will be fair. Within three would be very very good, but yeah. within six, like he can't let this go to the latter stay, latter half of the fight at all. You know it because that's on Hellenius's approach. That that's yep. a good thing we learned the other day though from what from what Mark Tibbs said when he turned around and he said when we fought with Dillian White against Hellenius, Hellenius mm -hmm. wanted to stand on the back foot and box and it went twelve rounds because that's what he was choosing to do. Um, yeah, but Joshua has to take control of the fight then and dominate because if he, he wants if he wants to be seen as back, you know, in the top very top level with Usyk and and um, <clears throat> even even Wilder really going into that fight with, with Usyk and Wilder and Fury Fury yes um, then he really needs a statement of victory against somebody as mediocre as Hellenius. Yeah, so. I think especially when you look at what Wilder did within a round, I think you we need to see the Joshua of old. Yeah, but I, I I think it is accepted that Wilder is a bigger puncher than Joshua. But yeah, uh, well, like Joshua is teeing off quite well here. But jo sorry. Joshua is supposed to be the more skilled. But yeah, you're right. Sorry, back to this fight. And McLean. McLean a lot better round for McLean. Yeah. Oh, and then as soon as we say that, uh, um, Bergevich Bergevich with a crash with a punch. Sure, for the sake of pig iron, let's give that to McLean. I think from from what I saw, he definitely landed more combinations as well. Mm -hmm. um, seemed to wake up a bit. Maybe that was the sort of down round, should we say, for Hergovic, yeah, yeah. where he takes that time to, you know, he's not the youngest of guys. Um, and, yeah, let's, let's give that one to McKean. But as you say, in regards to the answer to your question, what we're saying is it's a hell of a comeback if Joshua does lose. But it's a hell of a road. I, I don't think he. I don't think he'll lose it. No, I don't think he'll lose either. It's a question of when he wins and yeah, how he wins. wins. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's very yeah. important. So um, yeah, thank you very right. much for your uh, question there. <laughs> I am going to take a little break and uh, I leave you in the careful hands of Joel. I'll be back in a few seconds. All right, Joel? Yeah. I will see you shortly. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Pergovic versus McKean, round seven. Um, pretty much a bit of the same. Um, McKean there with a good one too, but onto the gloves of Hergovic. Hergovic with a good uppercut underneath, but Nothing that's causing too much of a problem. 
McKean coming forward a bit more there. Uh, HST, who's winning um, at the moment? We've got Hergovic. He's pretty much won every round except the last one. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of how it's sitting at the moment. Um, we've done a prediction show for that one. So check that out for Canelo versus Charlo. We've done a prediction show. So check out the prediction show when we're not doing live watch alongs. Thank you, guys. For joining us for the first time, hit the subscribe button as well. McKean here at the moment, just trying to take charge a bit um, as the, the rounds are slipping away from him. <laughs> um, good uppercut there by McKean, but the refs having a word with both of them as he was talking about the holding. Hergovic has basically said, look, I'm not doing any of the holding. It's him. Um, so good body shot there by McKean and a good right hand by McKean as well. But good shots here by McKean. Good combination. Um, Hergovic as well, working well in the clinch, working to the body. Um, so there we have it. Ender's back in the room. Um, back. How, how has it been since I was gone? McKean's been doing a lot more work, but mm. the, the, it's just the cleaner shots of Hergovic. They, they are the cleaner shots. Um, if McKean's throwing... He'll throw like a combination of three or four, but you're looking at sort of two at the most that are actually having any impact yeah. or not on the gloves. Um, so, um, Hergovic is definitely landing those cleaner shots and McKean is starting to look tired, but the ref did pull them both and he did turn around and say, look, you're holding on to each other, to which you actually saw Hergovic say, it's not me. He actually yeah. sort of pulled away from the conversation. Yeah. And then the ref had a word with McKean. So he yeah. was obviously trying to address it with both fighters, but yeah. solely it was for McKean, but trying to just address it with both. Yeah. Um, Again, more scrappy yeah, fighting on the ropes. Yeah, a lot scrappier there. McKean still doing the same again. But... Um, McKean well, to look tired though. I'm not. I'm going to leave the whole round to you because I was missing for half of it. So who who, who won that round, Joe? For me, I'm going to go Hergovic just to clean your shots again. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, um, McKean, yes, lat, throwing more shots, being a bit more active, but he just needs to be. The, the precision's not there. Um, McKean's mm. actually got Tony Sims and Kevin Mitchell. In his corner, um, which is interesting. But um, so he, he's not got a bad corner with him. Um, Tony Sims, no mug whatsoever. Absolutely not. Um, but they've just got to try and get more out of this boxer if if, if he's to get any success in there. Because at the moment, we've got this, what, six rounds to one in favour of Hergovic. And yeah. that was through generosity, really. But um, but, but like like that, you could you could it's say just that, the L animal winning. He is at the moment. He he is. is. And uh, yeah. thanks for his <clears> uh, comment. I'd like him to be a bit more animal and kind of you know go for the kill a bit because yeah. he he, he and kind he's got of it there. he's got it there. We, <laughs> like it there. I know McKean does clinch. You know does a lot of clinching and holding, but. If 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 Hergovic should just stand off maybe and hit him more, kind of work the jab, try and, as well. try and pick him off with his power shots. And that's a nice uppercut by McLean, but then Hergovic just hits an overhand. Every, every time <laughs> McLean seems to land a really hard shot, um, Hergovic replies straight away with a really tough shot back. Absolutely. Um, so, oh, that was a bit low there, but the referee didn't seem to mind. McKean la seemed to land a good shot on Hergovic in the corner and then immediately went in for the clinch. I think it almost is like if the fighter complains it's too low, then the ref sort of says yeah. something. But if, oh, big shots there by Hergovic there. 
yeah. McLean really knelt down. I thought he looked hurt, and to be fair, I think he was. Yeah, but it seems to have. But Hergovic even looks a bit tired there. You could yeah. see by him that maybe that big shot took a lot out of him, and you know. I think they're both starting to wear. We're in round eight now of twelve. Yeah. So. Uh, and do you know what's probably done it? The holding more than anything. Well, yeah, because that really saps the energy out of you. All that grappling and holding, and he's a, he's a tall, heavy guy, McKean. He's he's just mm. going to lay the weight on, um, mm. and that's going to slow you down. Yeah, because McK- M- Hergovic doesn't seem to be in any hurry to kind of you know. I say he'll just he'll just pick the points up quite happily yeah. if that's what he's got to do. I think he'll do what he's got to do to keep that that number one position almost. Yeah. Um, now, oh, what, now there was a definite low blow if ever really I saw low. it. And is the ref going to have a word? Jesus. Ah, oh, come on, referee. You f- that was well, really in, fairness, in fairness, the referee was blindsided, but he was poorly positioned for that. But that was a shocking low blow. But to that be was- fair, Hergovic didn't make a meal of it or anything. No. I think it shows you how solid he is, really. You can punch yeah. him in the gooch and he don't say a word. <laughs> but, um... McKean now seems to have Hergovic on the back foot a little bit here. But it's over there, and even though McKean kind me, of a little better at the end, Hergovic won that round for me with 90% of it. And McKean even, you know, the low blow that was seen just ignored by the referee. It's like, there's so much stuff that's the, just ignored. The ref is not uh, uh, only until what, um, round seven, did the ref actually acknowledge holding. Mm. So it, it's, it's a very slow burning fight. This oh, it's it, like... You know, th- this is heavyweight boxing, and if That's they're why working... I'm waiting for Hergovic just to knock him out because then it's yeah. But Hergovic, Hergovic seems content to just pick up, pick off his punches. People watching it, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. McKean's well, who, not making this. Who just this... covered his fight, Joe? <laughs> Sorry, but I'm it's... only joking. I'm only joking. You know what I mean? No, but... I do feel bad now, but it's it's kind no, of... No, should we have watched it anyway? At least we're talking to each other, so we're not. But uh, let us know if you're watching it. Are you are you enjoying... If you're enjoying this fight, will you let us know? Because we're if not... If you've got ready. any sleep emojis, just put them in the comments for us. But, um, yeah, that's what I mean. Hergovic has got the power to take him out, and McKean's just doing the same thing, which is very tippy-tappy and then holding, tippy-tappy, holding. And uh, I think we'll definitely go to Twitter afterwards on this one and see what people said and we'll let them know in the next fight. Um, You know, I wouldn't want to drag it out any longer than we have to. But, yeah, it's it's been a funny one. Good left, um, good one too there by Hergovic. But McKean coming back with shots of his own. But as I say, nothing that's causing an issue. Good left hand there by McKean, though. Hergovic just keeping a high guard, really. Um, McKean sort of coming in with the head a bit there, but the ref then points at Hergovic about his mm-hmm. head. So it's... I think he's trying his best to... to get something out of this fight, but I think McKean's just making it a really awkward affair. Um, But I think the ref is finally having a word with him. Because I think he's just, he got a bit fed up there. Mm. Some good body shots there by Hergovic. How many rounds is this fight? It's 12, sorry. Oh, crap. Um, so, <laughs> so <laughs> throwing the right hand there. But, um, cool, big right hand there by McKean. But Hergovic is coming in with some shots of his own. 
Hergovic's corner keeps standing up and waving in the corner, um, trying to get their man to sort of push this fight on. Jesus, um, Keane is just atrocious for holding and dragging. I there, was, there was a big shot there in the clinch, though, by Hergovic, which made McKean hang on even more. Um, but I think McKean is shattered. I think he is, and Hergovic's corner are so no. animated. I think they want him to finish this, but I don't know if there's enough left in the round for him to finish it. Um, Arsenal since 1987. What time is the AJ ring walk? Um, obviously, I, we've got Chisora next after this one, and yeah. then it's AJ. I say you're looking close to 11 o'clock, just Stephen. Yeah, at yeah. this point. Um, anything, anything from half 10 anyway, but definitely yeah. not before half 10. Um, but I'd say you're looking at close to 11. But we shall see. Um, as I say, we're kind of hanging in there. Um, Ender sent me a private chat of sleeping heads, um, which to be fair, I, I, I don't blame you, mate. Um, I, think, I think that's how it is. But as I say, if you're enjoying it at home, Hit the subscribe button. We'll try and guide you through the fight as best as we can. Check out the rest of the content when you can. You're watching the Boxing Media Hub with me and Ender. We're <laughs> going to guide you through the evening and the rest of the heavyweight fights. Um, now, the, 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 the complete opposite of this is happening tonight. And it's on Sky Sports, Valdez, Navarrete. And that should be an absolute cracker. And that's yeah. in Sky Sports action. Well, let's see what happens here first, because um, it would just be nice to see some action of some description. Well, in uh, fairness, Hergovic is trying his best, but Jesus, McKean is. If I ever see McKean fight again, it'll be a day too soon. I think it's a case of. Uh, well, McKean is the one now coming forward in this round with a little bit. Of, he hasn't even made himself attractive for another fight with another opponent. It's it's not like. Eddie Hearn or Wasserman are going to turn around and go, do you know what? We'll get McKean again because it's been one of those really good fights. Yeah. Performances where he hasn't shown anything. Yeah. Um, the only thing that he could come out with is this. He usually went 12 rounds with Hergovic. That's the only thing yeah. that's going to be good on um, the resume as such. And that's nothing mm. that's, you know, but if I was Hergovic's corner, I'd definitely be wanting them to try and get this guy out of there. Yeah. But like, wow. as, as we all know, it's easier said than done because Hergovic tries anything and McKean just wraps him up in a clinch. Yeah, that's that's been the, the whole thing of the fight, isn't it? Um, Hergovic has tried to push it and McKean has just mm. held on and, to being like... And, Herg and, and like that, all the clinching is sapping Hergovic of his energy and Hergovic does look... Hello. Thank you very much. Boring fight. Yeah, 100%. I, right. I wouldn't um, disagree okay. at all. And there's a nice body shot from McKean, but anyway. But yeah, as I say, if you're joining us for the first time, hit the subscribe <laughs> button. You're with us for Hergovic, McKean. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Um, that's all we can say about that. So, oh. as I say, Hergovic's corner are kind of screaming out, you know, to sort of lift their fighter who's tired um, against her, against McKean, who's been tired since round one, who's who's sort of hung on since round one. So, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, yeah, he's like, come like, here. To like if we asked him who his favourite Arsenal player was, he'd definitely say it was Holding. Yeah. Oh, dear. Um, um. I might get a sacker for that one. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> You're making it even longer. Um, oh, that was a nice, that was a nice overhand right there from McKean. Yeah, to be fair, um, Hergovic, he, well, McKean throws the shot, goes into a clinch because he thinks that could be the shot to win the round because there's not been any other shot in this round, to be perfectly yeah. honest. And McKean is now working hard here. Yeah, McKean has uh, kind of has trying to end the round well up the tempo the and glory. trying to steal this round. And I, do you know what? I think he I has. Think, I think he has. For, there was so little action that that overhand right 
did did it for me. It's like, yeah, just give him the round. Maybe he'll stop. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. look. Uh, it's, Conor McGregor's turned it's up. Conor McGregor in the house. How much he's did the page up. get it to come? I think he's actually turned up in a 5.7's taxi. Um, in a what? It's a, it's a Colchester taxi service. Big shout out to 5.7's. Um, oh, go on there to 5.7's. Just to say, there are other taxi companies available as well, but my mate. But they're not up. as good as Five Sevens. Yeah, but they're not as good as Five Sevens. Get the discount, you <laughs> Get the discount. <laughs> I do. Um, oh. so, yeah. Well, I will now. Um, I see it's going out local. Everyone's going to book Five Sevens, even if you're not even in England. Yeah, it's nothing uh, to do with Joel, or, or it's nothing to do with Conor McGregor getting out of dark taxi. It's got to do with Joel Pro. Uh, promoting it on his channel. It's got nothing to do with McGregor. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, McKean again. Quality. Trying to push. Um, to be fair, Jesus. just to let you know, Ender, we didn't actually write um, the last couple of rounds on here. So we just... Stop because we fell asleep. Hergovic. Um, uh, to be fair, it's it's been a bit of a... yeah. Um, Did we not give McKean round 10? McKean, yeah, I'll take that as round nine. McKean can have round 10. It's all right. It doesn't matter. I mean, I think I think Hergovic really is going to win this at some point but anyway. But, McKean um, has put Hergovic in the corner because I think Hergovic has actually fallen asleep. Um, yeah. But it's they're just trying. Hergovic is just seeing this out now because he realises that He's not got the opportunity to land those bigger shots, but actually McKean seems to be doing his better work now. Yeah, McKean has definitely saved all his, his work for the championship rounds, as they're called. Say, though, <laughs> if he was going to get involved, it was going to be towards the end, because... Yeah, could Adam's prediction come true? No. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> um, Arsenal since 1987... Who would you like to see Crawford fight next? I know he will take the rematch with Spence Jr. I can see the same outcome, though. Personally, yes, I can see the same mm. outcome. Like, uh, the person Crawford. I think everyone wants him to fight is busy. Uh, Jamel yeah. Taylor. Uh, we'll see. Forward. I think we'll, we'll, we'll see. see. Uh, Boots Ennis. A lot of people have called that, and I love Boots Ennis, but I just think... It's a little bit unfair to Boots Ennis to put him in with the pound for pound number one, you know? Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Uh, we so, got one minute left around 11. Um, so who, who would you like Crawford to fight next, Joel? Boots wants it. Um, I don't know whether that's going to be called as like a, a, a mandatory or whatever. I don't know how it's going to work next. Um, mm. But... Um, Let's just see who's available. I think is exactly, the thing. exactly. On the mandatory, but and and it's it's a piece. He's on a PBC. No, he's not. Sorry, he's not on a PBC contract. He's independent. Uh, Crawford. So. He's left. Um, to be fair, her McKean is really trying to push his fight and actually doing yeah, his work. McKean, last... McKean is trying to in kind of win these last few rounds, and Hergovic does look. Shattered, and I wouldn't. Be, oh, and that was a big overhand right by McKean and Hergovic. Then with the one two, and Hergovic's corner are more animated than uh Sullivan Blood Studios. I thought the end of that been more action in Hergovic's corner than there has been in the entire in the ring, fight. yeah. Round and I give it round 11 on giving it to McKean. Um, okay, well, don't even ask me, like, just just put it out there. But guess who I was giving round 11 to McKean. I was giving it to Mickey. <laughs> so, but to be fair, I think work rate, I think he, he has saved his energy. He has. I didn't really think that's what he's tried to do. And, so, what's um, this? Eight rounds to three then after 11. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eight rounds to three. And it's, yeah, it's, it's not been great otherwise, is it? Let's be honest. And somebody's getting a lot of text messages. Yeah, it's my wife. He's very popular. It's fruit chat. Same people who want that. <laughs> it's fruit chat. Uh, it's a group chat. Fruit oh, chat. Oh, fruit oh, chat. I said fruit chat. What's, what's like... going on in that? <laughs> um, 
Final round, Ender. Woo! Thank the Lord. Even the cat's looking for a way out. And they're um, clinching like they've never clinched before. Yeah. Oh my God, this is dreadful. If you enjoyed this fight, let us know because maybe you've enjoyed you know. it more than us. Um, but yeah, Ender, you're going to have to go to points at the end of this. <laughs> okay. And just see what the um, <laughs> see see how many rounds they've given to Hergovic. I think it's going to be um, it's going uh, to be eight, side, it? so I think it'll be eight round. four. I would I I'd say it'll be eight four or nine three or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And Jesus, Hergovic's corner bouncing up and up. Massive shot. Hergovic is going to take out McKean. I think McKean's out. Is he not? No, he's waved him off. He's so <laughs> Hergovic gets the knockout in round fight. 11. And I think the referee was looking for an excuse to end that fight. <laughs> the ref he's wants like, to go home. <laughs> he's like, oh, Jesus. I know there's only two minutes left, but I can't bear it. Just turned around and said, Look, I've had enough, lads. He's laying on the ropes. He looks like, to be fair, I thought he was out. I thought he had gone out because he was over the ropes and he looked like he wasn't really doing anything. Um, well, yeah, so but I mean, he but... Has not got a point. No, thank... won in round 12 by a stoppage. Um, I want referee... to see that back because even, even after like the referee gave his count. I mean, uh, McKean wasn't keen, and uh, the referee said, "Fine, it's over." So we look, well, we look at the replay again now. Right. Oh, that was an absolute right. beautiful, a beautiful right. right hook from Hergovic. To be fair, then, then it went, and then there was another big right. But look, he looks out to me there, and he was. It was that right hook that absolutely pulverized him, and um, he tried to hold on, but. The, the referee thing is he's walked away as well. So Yeah, but he wasn't steady on his feet <laughs> whatsoever. I mean, look we look at that even from behind. It's an that, I mean, shot, that that was the first shot, but then there was McKean went into the clinch and Hergovic did two. But big that but it was clinch. but it was that no, but it was the first big right hook that did the damage. Yeah. And there's another right hook, and they weren't and there's the punch at the back of the head, and they weren't great either, but yeah. He was definitely, you know, semi-conscious at that point. He, he was gone after that second shot. Yeah. He, he was gone. Um, yeah. So, well, so well, I think the referee, him. no, in fairness to the referee, he was correct to stop that fight because even look at him walking, he's not stable or anything. But, well, fair play to Hergovic, he gets round 12 stoppage. Did anyone well, have that on their best card? Yeah. Hats off to him. So, Ender, thank you very much for joining me. As yeah, always, and we'll be back next for everyone's favourite, uh, what, what was he described as? A, a chef? The table throwing Chisora. Or tablecloth Chisora, as he was this week. Tablecloth. But, yeah. Anyway, take care, buddy. Um, check out the rest of the content. When we're not doing lives, hit the subscribe button. Check out the rest of the content. And end up, we will see them shortly. Have and David DeMonte is just this. announcing Hergovic as the winner. Come on. Have some of this. Have it. Mm -hmm.